play the one-day game, the Cricket World Cup. Continues tomorrow at 8 on ESPN. And today saw the start of the World Cup one-day cricket competition involving eight of the strongest cricket countries throughout the world. We had cameras at two venues. We had them here at Headingley because we wanted to have the first sight on your screens of Dennis Lilly and Jeff Thompson bowling for Australia against Pakistan. We also had them down at Lords, where England started their one-day campaign against India. They began well by winning the toss. The Warwickshire opening pair, Dennis Amos and John Jameson, had 54 up for the first wicket when John Jameson was out for 21. After that, Dennis Amos really went to town. He was in tremendous fettle and were picking up that contest at 74 for one with Venkat bowling to Dennis Amos. And that's 50 for Amos. Beautifully controlled, sweet little push through the offside. Possibly the first 50 in the Prudential Cup. Runs are being made elsewhere for no wicket. A lovely 50 for Amos out of 78. Arm inert, ready to start his seventh over. Amos facing on 51. The glorious shot by Dennis Amos, cut away square. He's taken toll of Armanath after his very good start. And Amos going from strength to strength now. Moving on to 55 out of a score of 91 for one. Another fine shot. Boundaries flowing now from the bat of Dennis Amos. Two in succession there. Really warming to his task and looking a most accomplished player. And repeat it again, three in succession, what a wonderful shot. One fine, one square, and now one put through the cover. Three successive boundaries to Amos. Then into the 60s. A superb exhibition of stroke play by the Warwickshire opener. Abidale, the fifth bowler to be used. Amos on 69. And what a beautiful shot. He really can't go wrong here this morning. Just lent into that and powered it away through the covers. And this has moved very rapidly on since he completed his 50. He's moved on now to 73 out of the England score of 111 for one. And then Cut going to continue starting now his eighth over. Amos down on the pitch, another glorious shot. Really pulled everyone out here this morning, hoisting that over mid on. Cover drives, leg glances, deflections, cuts. 78 now to Dennis Amos. England score moving on to 116 for one at the start of the 28th over. And looking a complete player here. Yet another boundary going through. Extra cover on the offside. 14 boundaries already to Dennis Amos in his score of 82. glorious clip off his legs by Amos, his 15th boundary. That's 36 overs now completed. The important point there is Amos is on 99. 99 made out of 152. And that's it, pushed away comfortably on the onside. Right in the middle of the bat once more, takes two runs and reaches one of the most accomplished centuries of his career. That hundred coming in just fractionally over two hours, 16 glorious boundaries on it and being acclaimed by this magnificent crowd here at Lords. 101 out of 154 for one. The route engineer now standing up to the wicket for the medium pace of Abid Ali. Just swinging that away on the leg side between the two men at long leg and square leg, four more. And this big crowd have certainly seen some great shots here this morning. A real flow of boundaries. 
Another glorious crack through extra cover. And Fletcher in form is a batsman well worth watching. Standing with a big gap in the offside. The man back there, Solker on the boundary. He's got a good arm. A fine throw coming into engineer, but there's two runs sufficient to take Keith Fletcher through the 50. Well, possibly not one of his best 50s, but in amongst it all, he too has played some really grand shots. It's a great blow by Fletcher. Picked that one up and deposited it in the crowd. Round about Lake Stump, that one went. So the first six of this innings, and Fletcher moving into the 60s with it. 200 coming up for England and coming up in the 45th over. Still the field shuffles round to different positions again. Soccer to Amis. He's cracked that one in the air. And Abid Alexandre. Just between the two fielders. Given us four, fell just about on the rope, just inside them. Knocks back Keith Fletcher's off stump. Fletcher 68 out of 230 for one. Good second string effort by Fletcher there, but sticky to start with. But he contributed his bit towards the end. And his LBW trying to force a good length ball away. On the onside, Tony Gregg having to take a chance here. Looking to find a gap on the onside and Abidali collecting another wicket. His contribution, quite a miserly one of four. And Manuel then about to complete his eighth over, which leaves him four to bowl. Govery, the other opening bowler, has not been called upon since he had his first spell of six overs, but Armanath and Venkat and Abidali are now bowled out. They've completed their 12. And that's it, swinging away. So, a belated wicket there for Mudanlal and the end of a really glorious exhibition of stroke play by Dennis Amis. And this entire crowd rising then to Dennis Amis. A really superb exhibition of stroke play, 137 he made. And he's enjoyed every minute of that. That's hoisted high, always a good thing to say. And there we are, we wanted another six, England wanted another six, and that was the perfect lead-in. This old high six over mid-wicket. And a great blow there by Chris Hill, not even bothering to run. It's another six to him. Beautiful straight crack there for six by Chris Old and the crowd absolutely lapping up this now. So Chris Old, the second six to him. And just about all the Indian fielders with two exceptions on the boundary. That swung high in the air, Dinesh got into the act, he's found the shorter boundary there at mid-wicket, he's negotiated it successfully and he too gets six. So that's the position here at Lords with one over remaining. 3.21 for four. There are just two balls left, provided Govery doesn't overstep the crease. And swung away again, Chris Holt swing at everything. Yes, it's fielded all right this time. He'll take two runs, he'll have the strike for the last ball. He can push a one if he wants to make sure of a 50. is 50, no bother at all I'm sure Dennis will come back quickly for the second it'll give him two and so an excellent 50 there from Chris Hold exactly what the doctor ordered sent him up the order by Dennis to push it along and he did that in no uncertain fashion
So England's mammoth score of 334 for four off their 60 overs, including a superb century from Amis, well supported there by Fletcher and Old. So how were the Indians going to face this enormous task of scoring five and a half runs and over? Well, they fell down exceedingly badly on the job. It was always beyond their reach. They made no effort whatsoever to try and chase this total. And the chief culprit there being their opening batsman, Sunil Gavaskar. This little experienced Indian opener who really should have known better, in actual fact, occupied the crease for three and a half hours for his 36 runs. And that in itself must be some form of record in a limited over game of cricket. Vishwanath supported him as well as anybody with 37. He outpaced Gavaska by, with no bother at all. But Patel came in and lasted it for the last hour, scoring 11 runs himself. And after 60 overs, incredibly, the Indians had managed to total only 132 runs and only lost three wickets in doing it. Well, it was a disappointing day for many of the Indian spectators who were here. They repeatedly came onto the field and personally remonstrated with Gavaska, but it made no apparent effort to him at all. He went along his own leisurely way, and after 60 overs, he was still there. He carried his bat in a most selfish display of batsmanship. The final outcome, of course, was that England ran out easy winners. Their bowlers on top, their batsmen on top. They collect four points and win this first match by the substantial margin of over 200 runs.